One summer, Mom, Daddy, Ernesto, and I were to spend a month at my grandparents' house at the beach. My grandparents were going to Europe for a month. While we could go there anytime we wanted, we usually were there for a week and visit for weekends off and on during the summer. Before we continue, please like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified when I upload the next video. It would be four weeks of fun, four weeks of surfing, carnivals, rides, picnics on the beach, bonfires on the sand, ice cream, all of the best things in life. I couldn't wait. We didn't have to bring that much stuff because we had clothes and swimsuits that were at the house permanently. That meant that the car was not going to be filled to the rim for our trip, and we didn't have to spend a crazy amount of time packing. I hated packing. It was awesome, and I couldn't imagine being more excited. Until I learned that my Uncle Will and his family were going to be spending at least two of those weeks with us. I didn't even like spending a weekend with Will and his family. I didn't even like spending a few hours with them. My sister Ernesto felt the same way. She didn't really like them either. I wish it were Uncle Toby and his family instead, Ernesto confided in me. But Mom said that they were going to be down south for most of the time, that we are going to be at the beach. Toby said he would try. Me too, I agreed. Or Aunt Bibi, but she's in Costa Rica. Maybe it won't be too bad, Ernesto said. She was always such an optimist. It's a nice big house. We have friends that live nearby. We can just do our own thing. At the beach house, Ernesto and I took our usual rooms. Daddy and Mom took their regular room. Mom made sure that the bedrooms where Will and Sue and Todd and Ellie would sleep in had sheets on the beds and were ready for when His Highness and the royal family would arrive. Ernesto and I helped and wondered why Mom was always so kind to Will when he was such a jerk to her and everyone else. After Will and his family arrived, Ernesto and I politely spent time with Todd and Ellie. Todd spent the time bragging about his accomplishments. He bragged about making honors at school. Ernesto pointed out that we had both made honors as well. Todd bragged about sports. Todd bragged about being selected for something that I had never heard of. Todd boasted about a lot of things. I was bored hearing about how great Todd was from Todd. I could tell Ernesto was too. Ellie didn't brag about all her accomplishments. She hardly said anything. After a couple of days of this, I just wanted to get out and away from Todd and all of his superiority. So was Ernesto. We decided to get away from them by going surfing with our friend Julie. As far as I could remember, Todd and Ellie didn't surf. Perfect. Where are you going? Asked Will as Ernesto and I were on our way out the door. This was something else that we hated about Will. He always acted like he was our parent, even though we had two awesome parents of our own. It was like he thought that he was better than everyone else and therefore had the right to boss us all around. We are going surfing with our friend Julie, Ernesto said. She was more direct and comfortable with confrontation than me. She was also pleased to talk back to Will. Are you taking your cousins with you? Will asked. It was like when we were little and I was expected to entertain Ernesto, but we weren't little kids anymore. We were in our teens. So were Todd and Ellie. Couldn't they amuse themselves? I imagined that Todd could talk to himself about how great he thought he was. We are going surfing, I said. Fine, I am sure that Todd will enjoy that. Will said, he just recently learned to surf. Todd and Ellie appeared wearing their swimsuits. Oh. It was like they had some sort of telepathic connection with ruining our perfect beach month. I was tired of hearing Todd tell me how great he was. Then I had an idea. If Todd wanted to go surfing, then we would take him surfing. Down at the point, we met Julie and introduced Todd and Ellie. Julie smiled and shook hands with them. Julie also explained to Todd and Ellie that they were going to have the best surfing in the area. Ellie, of course, said that she was just going to watch. Okay, fine. The waves were good and supposed to get higher, not for beginners. We paddled out. Todd had a new board. It looked costly. He also seemed confident. I didn't know why, but it annoyed me. Todd got up his first try, as did we all. He wasn't so bad. I was annoyed that Todd could surf now. It was the one thing that I thought I could use to escape he and his sister. As time went on, the waves got bigger. The surfing became more challenging. That was fine for us. Ernesto, Julie, and I had grown up surfing. Todd, not so much. Todd was having a more and more difficult time, and that made me feel better. I approached the more aggressive waves with more enthusiasm. I also really enjoyed watching Todd fall each time. I don't know why. It was like the waves were taking his perfect self down a few pegs. I was extra happy when Todd paddled his board to the shore and joined Ellie on the sand. 
Even though I was tired, I made a point to stay out longer. Finally, Ernesto said she was tired and that we should head home. Julie agreed. We agreed to meet up the next day. On our way back to the house, Todd could barely walk. <laughs> we showed him, I thought to myself, smiling on the inside. At the beach house, Will asked Todd how it went. Didn't this jerk ever leave the house? My parents were out on the shore, probably enjoying time to themselves. It was good, Todd said. I got up and caught some waves. Todd did fine for a beginner, Ernesto said. But I've never seen Jason surf like that before. Dude, you were like flying highway in. Then she went to put her board against the outdoor shower. I remembered her rolling her eyes when Will had told us that the boards didn't belong there. My sister is so awesome, I thought smiling. Later, after I showered, Ernesto and I decided to get ice cream. We ignored Will as he asked us where we were going. So what was that about earlier? Ernesto asked me. What was what about? I asked. At the point, all that badassness, Ernesto said. I mean, you did awesomely, but it's not like you to show off or to one-up someone. I don't know, I said. I just felt so tired of Todd. You mean Todd Almighty, son of the Kaiser Will? Ernesto laughed. Yeah, I felt like I need to be better than him at something, I explained. I know, Ernesto laughed. But you do know that you are better than him at, like, everything. You don't need to compete with Todd. He is the one who feels that he needs to compete and be better than everyone. That's not you. You don't need to prove anything to anyone, especially not Todd Almighty. Back at the house, Ernesto made a point of bragging about how great I was, that I was great at everything and the best brother in the world. She laid it on so thick, I was starting to get embarrassed. Ernesto was right, of course. She usually was. I was not a competitive person. I always did my best, and that was enough for me, usually. But I was not perfect, as nobody is. While I was pushing myself on the water, I did great, but I had missed out on how much fun I was having because I was trying to make Todd feel inferior. And still, Ernesto was right. That was not me. As an adult with lots of life experience, I understand why Todd was so competitive and obnoxious. He was that way because his father would not accept anything less than Todd being the best, the most successful at everything. I also know when someone like my sister or me did better at something than he did, it really did hurt him. Todd already felt inferior because his father made him feel that way. The only way he felt good about himself was when he was more successful than someone else. As an adult, I feel sorry for him. I always will even if I don't like him or want to hang out with him. As far as competition goes, I learned that the most important person I had to compete with was myself, because that was what truly pushed me to do my best. Hey, thank you for watching. Please click on the right to subscribe if you like the video. And please don't forget to click on the bell icon when you subscribe so that you can be notified when we upload a new video. Watch more videos on the left, including our playlist. Thank you.